Under pressure from Congress and the American people, drug maker Eli Lilly announced it will reduce prices for some of its most commonly prescribed insulin by up to 70 percent. It will also expand a monthly $35 cap on prescription costs for insured patients. Insulin typically costs diabetic patients $1,000 a year. The price cut is expected to take effect this October. The $35 out-of-pocket cap is already in effect for insured Americans. CBS News correspondent Lilia Luciano has more. Today's move by the drug giant is a lifeline for many of the 1.3 million Americans who've had to ration their medication, a dangerous calculation. The price of insulin directly resulted to the loss of my child. Nicole Smith holds 26-year-old son Alec couldn't afford his medication when he aged out of her insurance plan. The first time he went to the pharmacy in June of 2017 to pick up his one-month supply, the pharmacist said it would be $1,300 and went home without his life-sustaining medication and began to ration it. Alec was taking Eli Lilly's most commonly prescribed insulin, Humalog. It was $21 a vial when it first went on the market in 1996. Today, it's over $274, a more than 1,200% increase. Eli Lilly CEO David Ricks. How do you ensure patients that we're not going to see the same rises in the price of insulin in the future? You know, we haven't rolled out a guarantee, but what I'll say is over the last five years, we've frozen list prices and cut them. Smith Holt says the price cuts are a victory, but too late for her son. Yeah, I think if the price of insulin in 2017 had been $35, Alec would still be alive today. You got to... Notice that uh, the net income for Eli Lilly last year was $6 billion. This year, the CEO says the company plans to invest around $8 billion in research and development. That'll go for new drugs. That includes new drugs like new forms of insulin for which they can actually charge more money because those don't fall under these price caps. Right. Lilia, this didn't happen in a vacuum. There's been a lot of government pressure on these makers. That's right. I mean, one of the biggest things uh, that happened in the news for diabetics is the fact that, especially for people in Medicare, that there is that $35 a month cap uh, for people in Medicare under the Inflation Reduction Act. States have also implemented their own laws and put their own pressure, but for people without insurance, for people like Alec um, and Nicole Sun, they kind of fall out of, of this space. What the CEO did explain, though, is that it's they're making it also easier for people without insurance to just go to the pharmacy. Pharmacies that are participating fill out something online immediately and then get a coupon so that they can get their insurance for cheap. All right. Lilia Luciano, thank you. Thank you.